special thanks to these companies for being long-term partners of this channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach. Here we talk about overlanding gear, builds, DIY projects, all sorts of things related to building out your vehicle for off-roading. And a lot of people really enjoy having a comfortable mattress when they're building out their vehicle for trips. Now, if you're like me, you like to have some of the creature comforts of home while being out there and camping. And so I've been trying to figure out what the best mattress is for my vehicle setup. So if you like content like this, or if you like what I'm doing with the channel, then please consider subscribing and uh, like this video if it brought you any sort of value because uh, I'm gonna continue to make awesome videos like this basically weekly. So with that being said, let's just jump right into talking about each mattress here. And then we will uh, kind of talk about why I would pick one or the other and some of their benefits. So the two mattresses here that I'm showing you is the uh, Millard six inch memory foam mattress. This is a mattress on Amazon that I bought about two years ago and I absolutely love it. It's a 73 inch by 52 inch mattress. And then this is the Exped Mega Mat Duo mattress. It is a 52 inch by 74 inch mattress and it's roughly four inches thick. So it's not quite as thick as the memory foam one, but there are some benefits to this mattress. So let's first just start out talking about this Millard mattress. So this mattress is six inches thick. It's supposed to have a couple of different layers of memory foam, like firmus being on the bottom and then on the top, there's kind of a cushion. Um, I really like this mattress because it's incredibly comfortable. It has this tri-fold design, which is really nice for storing as well as you know, being able to actually fit it in your vehicle. Um, it's pretty tough to move a memory foam mattress that doesn't fold. So being that it's only three folds is pretty, pretty nice and you don't really feel the cracks. Um, this mattress is about $210 on Amazon and I have a bag for it that makes it really easy to transport. Um, one thing I really like about this mattress is even though it's 52 inches wide, uh, you can still kind of squeeze it into most areas so it fits great in the back of the Forerunner. Another really nice feature of memory foam mattresses is they're very insulating. Now they do tend to match the temperature of the area you keep them in. So if your vehicle is going to be really cold in winter camping, you're going to have to heat them up a bit. Uh, but in general, they are very good about insulating the temps that they're kept at. So uh, if my car is warm and I'm warm, it tends to keep me pretty warm. Uh, I also really like that this allows you to lay on your side, lay on your stomach, lay on your back. It's very comfortable. Uh, it has that depth to it that allows you to get a good night's sleep no matter what type of sleeper you are. Now moving on to the Exped mattress. This mattress is a memory foam and air mattress composite. Uh, people love these mattresses. They are a little bit more expensive. So whereas this was about uh, $210, this is going to be at, I think it's like $380. Now I bought it on Black Friday, 30% off for about $280. So it is still a little bit more expensive than this memory foam mattress, but there are some pretty nice benefits to this that it may be, you know, enticing to use to spend a little bit of extra money so that you can gain those benefits from this mattress. Now there is a little bit of instructional setup to these mattresses when you first buy them. Uh, once you buy them, they are a self-inflating mattress. So you open this port right here on the mattress and it will begin to kind of suck in air. When you open it for the very first time, this foam has been very compressed. So they recommend you let it lay out for like 24 hours and you slowly go through this pump up regimen to inflate the mattress. Now, what I found is that actually wasn't even enough time because the memory foam really probably could use even 48 hours to inflate. So that's what I did. Um, but these are a little bit different because for one, there's not as much memory foam, so it's not quite as squishy. Um, you can keep the air pretty deflated, but since it's so thin, you start to feel the ground if you're laying on your side. Uh, this is also an air mattress, so if two people are sleeping on it, you typically can feel the other person. Um, Exped does claim that this is supposed to have some technology to prevent that, though you still do feel the other person that you'd be sleeping with on this mat, uh, but it is much less than your typical like $30 air mattress at Walmart. Um, I think that this would pair really nicely with like a one inch softer memory foam topper. 
um, but it's just going to depend on how much space you have in your vehicle. The really nice thing about this is because it is an air mattress, it folds up really small. So whereas these tri-fold sections fold up to roughly you know, 24 inches by 52 inches and then stacked 18 inches high, it's a really big block. Um, this Exped mattress can roll up and be, you know, very small, almost like a, a duffel bag in size. And so uh, this is really nice if you're going to be sleeping in your vehicle, but you need to be tearing down and setting up your mattress. The Exped mattress also comes with this handy little hand pump. So you just uh, open up the self-inflating valve, hook in the pump, and then you just press down like this a couple times and you pump up the mattress that way. Um, a lot of people though use the self-inflating feature of it so you just lay out the mattress give it a few hours to inflate itself and then you just pump it up the rest of the way depending upon how firm or soft you like the mattress so uh, th that's kind of what this mattress is if you've never heard of these exped mattresses there's tons of videos and reviews out there i haven't seen quite as much on these memory foam mattresses but i did want to do kind of a quick product description before I talk to you a little bit about how maybe you could choose between the two. So the first criteria I would use when choosing one of these mattresses is, you know, look at how you sleep at home. Are you a stomach sleeper? Are you a back sleeper? Are you a side sleeper? Um, do you sleep on a really firm mattress or do you sleep on a really soft mattress? And do you try to make any sort of, you know, comfort adjustment when you're off road or do you really not care? Um, if you're not going to care at all, then it's probably going to be whatever is easiest to pack or thinnest so that you aren't really inconvenienced by such a large packed item. Uh, but if you're trying to decide, I think that the memory foam mattress is typically more comfortable for someone who sleeps on their stomach or sleeps on their side um, because this has a lot more give. And if you move around a lot, especially if you're a side sleeper, I think this is more comfortable because you're not gonna feel the ground quite as often. Though if you are a back sleeper or a stomach sleeper and you don't move around quite as much, I have found this Exped mattress to be really comfortable. Uh, it just kind of depends on what you find to be the most comfortable at home. Um, but if you really sink into your mattress a lot, you're going to benefit from the extra thickness on this mattress. Uh, this mattress is incredibly comfortable, but I think it's most comfortable when you aren't moving anymore. So if you only sleep on your stomach or you only sleep on your back, this seems to be the best option. I kind of tend to flip flop between the two. So that's why I think having that, that thin memory foam topper would be really nice for just having those transitions while I'm sleeping so that I'm not uncomfortable and I wake up often. Um, you know, these are all kind of minor things. These are both very comfortable mattresses, uh, especially, you know, compared to almost sleeping on the ground or like a thin backpacking mat. Um, these are both going to be great, but I'm just kind of nitpicking how you could potentially pick between the two. The next criteria is obviously, you know, the thickness that the mattress is going to take up. If you have a sleeping platform in the back of your vehicle like me, it's not a huge deal to switch between these two things. Uh, you know, six inches versus four inches in the back of my Forerunner is really only going to take away from headspace crawling around on top of the bed. So in theory, this doesn't really matter too much to me. Now, if you're trying to put this in a rooftop tent or something of that nature where you're trying to, you know, minimize the space the mattress takes up, this might be a much better option than one of these thick memory foam mattresses. Similarly, if you have a smaller interior in your vehicle, uh, it might be really nice to have a thinner mattress like this that's partially air so that you can tear it down and set it up every night because when I go on trips with this thick memory foam mattress, I leave it set up all the time in the trunk because it's pretty tough to just pack it up. I've got to almost unload a bunch of stuff from my vehicle to put this in there. It also prevents me from really setting anything on top of my drawer system because this memory foam mattress takes up so much space. So it's very hard to have this and you know larger bags or a fridge or something like that in the trunk of the Forerunner uh, with a two person mattress like this. Now these discussions will change a little bit if you're just buying the single person uh, version of these mattresses, but both, both of those things are, are good to consider. But it's still kind of important to consider if you're doing car camping to think about you know, how thick these mattresses are and how they will pack into your vehicle. Similarly, when talking about size, 
whether you're trying to you know put it in a smaller vehicle or a rooftop tent uh, another really nice benefit of having one of these exped mattresses is since they are air they're a little more pliable to the shape of your vehicle so if you don't have a trunk space that's perfectly rectangular having one of these air mattresses might fit the unique plastics shape inside the back of your vehicle whereas these more stiffer memory foam mattresses you really have to put some pressure behind to get them to fit in a specific space in your vehicle in a you know usable way probably the the last criteria that i sometimes think about when buying modifications is just trying to figure out if they have any sort of usability outside of taking trips. You know, if you're buying tools to work on your vehicle, they may be more helpful for other projects around the house at home. Uh, you know, in a similar fashion, that was one reason I really jumped on this memory foam mattress because like we talked about, unless you get this one on sale, this mattress is almost $160 to $170 cheaper than this mattress. Not to mention, this is a little bit thicker, which probably is going to amount to more comfort for you know more people. This didn't come with, but it was only like an extra 30 or $40, and we were able to get this really awesome waterproof case for it. And so this has been an awesome mattress to just keep in a closet in our place, because if we have people visiting, uh, it's a really comfortable guest bed, because uh, unlike an air mattress or sleeping on a couch, you can lay this out, you can put sheets on it, you could put a mattress topper on it, and it's honestly quite comfortable. A lot of people enjoy using it as a guest bed. Whereas, you know, some people, depending upon if they're some unique type of sleeper, um, this mattress isn't necessarily going to be quite as comfortable. So while you were thinking, oh, Zach, you were just going to be talking about this mattress for using when you're camping, I think when it comes to you know thinking about spending money on modifications it's nice to get more utility out of modifications other than just maybe on the couple trips you take a year depending upon your schedule so um, you know for the price and for the additional benefits i think this memory foam mattress has a lot of extra benefits over this air mattress but like i've you know said in the past depending upon the packing size the size of your vehicle how thick of a mattress you like, what type of sleeper you are. Uh, those are all things that you can kind of create a list and think about the pros and cons as to whether which one is better for you. Similarly, a lot of people, if you don't sleep inside your vehicle, will upgrade your rooftop tent mattress to one of these because they set up and they tear down pretty quickly and they're pretty easy to pack in your vehicle. So those are my thoughts on comparing the Exped Mega Mat Duo mattress to this Trifold memory mattress. I hope, you know, kind of thinking through some of those things were helpful and uh, maybe this video was able to bring you some sort of direction while thinking through picking a mattress for your camping adventures. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like this sort of content, you like gear reviews, you like walk arounds, you even like DIY projects, then you're going to like what I do on the channel and uh, I'd really appreciate your support. So consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell and like this video if it brought you any sort of value. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Yeah, yeah.